Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! My name is Twitchy and we are back on my publicly available server. Details if you want to join in are available just about everywhere. And today I started on my oil rig that was designed to farm tridents. As you can see it's been working incredibly well. And today's plan was to go through and try and find a bunch of creepers, turn them into charge creepers, blow them up and uh, get myself a whole bunch of mob heads. But unfortunately something's come to my attention that means I need to change my plans. You might see that we've flown towards the city here, Spawn City, jewel of the server. It's absolutely amazing. A beautiful structures everywhere apart from this 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 one right here. Now this plot has a long and storied history. It used to belong to Comrade Headcrab who uh, unfortunately got I gotta say bored of the game, decided that he didn't want to play Minecraft anymore and came along and burnt his build to the ground which like, yeah, okay that that's fine, you're more than welcome to do that to your own build. It is however a very forefront piece of the Hello, what have I left here? Oh, that's that's where I put those. Uh, it is, a, however, a very forefront piece, a plot, shall we say, to the spawn city here. And uh, I, I, I didn't like the way it was looking. Forrest came along and ripped down the burnt out shell and kind of just left this very dead and empty looking plot here. Uh, I... I, I don't really like just flat plots in Minecraft. They they kind of put me on the edge. I don't like them. I feel like we can do better. And of course, you know that I've got a plan. Uh, Forrest did ask that I had a plan beforehand. He didn't just, just flatten this for no reason. If we go over to my testing world, bam, welcome. Uh, I've been working on this. Well, welcome to the creative world. If you don't know that we have a creative world running in parallel to the, the, the survival server... Welcome to the creative world. This is what we do. Uh, this this is the building that I'm intending to build here. As you can see, it is a mammoth beast of a building. It's got quite a few blocks involved in it. And to that aim, me and Miss Align, let me just put me put myself back where I was. Me, myself and Miss Align have gone out and done a whole bunch of resource collection here. They, these, they, these are not what they say they are. As you can see, nine nine chests of black stained glass. No, it's just sand at the moment. It's just sand. Me and Miss have gone around. We, we've decimated the mining desert. We have gone and uh, farmed the ice for all it is worth. Uh, we even... Uh, this, this this is the one. Been getting blocks of quartz. I, ne I need to cook it all to smooth quartz, but this... This was hours of our life, absolute hours of our life. The the the, the sand, like I I've gone through and collected so much sand and ice. Um, nothing compared to getting the quartz. Uh, we 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 went for a nice little adventure in the Nether, and yeah, it was uh, it it was a fun time. It was a fun time, but a scary time, and one that ended up. Um, Take, take it just just eating all of our time so for today my plan let's uh let's turn this on placement on oh it's a laggy one is to build this tower behind me here we have a whole bunch of plans to do with it and um the materials still need to be gathered i'm going to turn that off because it's so big that it actually causes some troubles here and you know what? i think i think we can sleep through the rain oh no we can't sleep through the rain all right that's fine but the sand and the ice are just a few components to what we need to do you can see i need like as 10 stacks of lapis blocks and 10 stacks of diorite walls a chest of iron blocks now the chest of iron blocks oh wait i should be able to do with the the help of uh, my my good buddy and friend landstrider here he made off in this direction by the way I love Riptide. It is such a good... But when you combine it with your wings, that suddenly I don't have to use any rockets anymore. You just you just need it to be raining. And Minecraft does like to rain quite often. Now, over here, this is Landstriders in little industrial district. We've got some, some pretty serious um, pumpkin and sugarcane farm. Of course, melons as well. But who farmed melons? Uh, and down here, we've got quite a lot of iron being created. I'm fairly sure if I just AFK for a little bit, we should be able to make ourselves... a. Uh, a chest full of iron blocks indeed let's grab let's just grab out a random box it needs to be renamed for the oil rig which is like over there somewhere uh, and i'm just gonna try and make as many iron blocks as i can here i i don't think we're gonna fill up the shulker box but look we we, we can already get a few stacks why are the villagers not dropping iron golems what's going on here we got we got what's a dr no he's only wearing a drowned head he he is actually a regular zombie what what is going on here? They look like they should be fine. I wonder if the rain's got anything to do with it. I, I was just thinking about that segment I just recorded, and I was like, wait, I didn't, I didn't, I, I still don't hear death of iron golems. What's going on here? 
My guess is they've not slept for a while, the villagers at the top. And if we have a look in my uh, pink check, uh, pink shulker box here, you can see the top right, my clock is saying it's nearly night time. So let's, let's wait and let them sleep. No idea what the difference is. Night time came around and suddenly we've got some, uh, some iron golems being spawned. Is this because it's night time? Are the villagers in bed? Oh, hit the wrong button. Uh, are the villagers in bed? Uh, no, yes. Yes, they are. Okay, it was, sleeping was the issue, and now they're being woken up and um, scared. Okay, that that's fine. As long as they've all got into bed, that now counts as them rested. Much like the player with the phantom. Did you know you don't need to fully sleep? Oh, look, it's a new moon. Did you know you don't need to fully sleep? You can just, in fact, get into bed and out of bed. Like, like this, you go whoop, whoop. And that would stop your phantoms from spawning, just just to let you know. And it turns out that is true with villagers. They just need to get inside the bed and that, that resets their have I slept counter. Okay, I'm going to just kind of hang out here for a little while. Maybe uh, watch a video, read a, read a science paper, something like that. And let, let's try and get a bit more gold because all of that only gave me five and a half stacks. Five, five and a bit stacks. Well, it's been the best part of two hours, and this this is just not good enough. Looking around, we have not even got four stacks of iron out of this lot, uh, iron blocks, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, my storage room is uh, deep and wide and has managed to uh, scrounge up quite a few extra blocks that I had just kicking in a chest. I, I really am totally overwhelmed with the amount of iron that I have available to me i don't i'm not sure why i even hung around what is going on here hello how are you doing i was fighting the phantoms a little while ago but uh yeah something's wrong with this one it doesn't make anywhere near as much iron as the rest i don't I, I literally have no idea why. Maybe it's just the way the track lines up with the day cycle, so this one doesn't get to... No, that wouldn't make sense because it's, it's a set time. I have noticed that sometimes this one just doesn't produce while, when the others have, so uh, it, it's okay that really we made a little bit extra with that first one. That first one definitely did appear to be the most efficient out of the group. I, I, I just kind of want to name him and, like, trap him in this place. I, if, I, if I leave, he's not going to be here when I get back, which is unfortunate. And I do indeed need to leave iron blocks. Iron blocks. Okay, got, got all of those. Uh, we're going to go this way. If I fly into the water, pull my uh, my riptide up and we head off. Uh, over in the yonder direction, uh, there is a good friend and buddy. This, my, this server, full of good friends bases. Uh, if we fly over this way, uh, my good, good friend and buddy, Forrest, has... Um, well, I mean, he has a, a, a trading village up here. Just quickly double check for bad omen, just to, just to be sure. But more importantly, if you come inside this rather unassuming hut over here, he has first a storage room. This, this is the down over here, I remember. And then underneath his storage room, he's got... His own little farm area. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. As far as I'm aware, Forrest is the, the largest purveyor of bees. And I'm sure he won't mind if I... Uh, yeah, th th this is the one that I'm after. Ah, that is almost exactly what I'm after. I'm almost certain this video will be the first he finds out about this. So uh, th thanks very much, Forrest. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 leave him that part leave him that partial stack and I'll, I'll just take the rest. I'm, I'm sure I've got a stack of honey blocks somewhere, like maybe in there. There's less than a stack. Yoink. <laughs> if need be, at some point I'll sacrifice some time at an AFK farm. But right now I've got a building to build.
for you. Foyer. Yes, indeed. We've got the foyer of this building up and running. You see, there's quite some details in here. I particularly enjoy the wave effect that we've got going here. Trying to get a sine wave going was pretty simple. But then when I wanted to go in this, like, double diagonal direction, that was uh, a little bit more difficult. We've got ourselves some sofas to chill out on. We've got our ender chest, of course, the reception desk. Uh, punch. Do not right-click. But this is a completely tuned uh, piano here. Uh, it is three different materials. We've got gold, we've got uh, compact ice, and this one is uh, iron block down below. I particularly like the trees that we've put around the outside. And we do have some empty space that still needs filling. I'm not sure exactly what to put there. But we also have a splash, the bar at the bottom of the elevator here. I, I think this is pretty cool. We could do with some staff. Some staff here and some staff in the reception area. But I really like this elevator system where you can just kind of walk into the corner and it drags you up. Because of the honey blocks, it doesn't drag you quite as quick as the regular uh, water stream. But I'm kind of about that because we're going to have a lot of floors that we need to want to jump off onto and grab. Uh, so the next thing to do, of course, is to expand up a little bit further and start building the next things. So if I pull this up. Whoa, it takes a while for that to load in. But you can see like there's some frog lights there. There are frog lights on the back of this design. Can I can I fly over there? We can go and have a look. There's a frog frog lights on the back of this design. Uh, I need an awful lot of frog lights, which I actually do have a farm for. Let, let, let's go out this way. Let's also turn this off because my gosh, the frame rate all of a sudden is not worth it. Uh, if we head our way into the nether somewhere else that needs a lot of work but along this tunnel can i fly along here yes indeed we make our way down to oh, i hit the floor that that's sad that's that's not what i want i want to fly all the way down here in one go but we hit ourselves a basalt delta and you can see that we've got ourselves some magma creams around here magma cubes i never know exactly what to call these guys they're the lava slimes and i've also got a bunch of frogs here now this farm ah it's okay. It's all right. I wouldn't even really call it a farm. I call it more of just like, here's an area where we can get some frog lights. But what, what we do is we br bring the large slimes over here. We just kind of cut them up a little bit. Yeah, uh, manually, manually cut them up a little bit uh, and let the little guys make their way down here and the frogs eat them. But I'm sure that you can imagine already that this process is slow and painful and I don't want to do it anymore. Let's throw these over here. So I, I've got I've got something else I need to go do. Back at Nether Spawn, our good friend and buddy Decipher has made ourselves a, uh, a Nether Roof Gold Farm. I'm sure you know the design where you got a donut around the outside and you hit one of the, the, the zombie piglins and they all come running at you and you kill them with whatever method you can. But more importantly, it gives us access to the rooftops. If I jump off here, uh, you can see there are pathways leading off in various directions. But the one that I want is this one over. Is, is it this sparsely laid out one? I, I think it might not be. <laughs> This, this straight line here. I, I need to make that a little bit nicer to follow. We got ourselves a frog farm. It's a hideous beast made out of whatever materials I had laying around. We're controlling spawn... Oh, actually, I should rip these blocks up. These are not currently spawn-proof. We're controlling spawns with the rails because that that's how that works. Did you know that monsters in Minecraft just don't want to spawn on top of rails? And then down in the hole, we have ourselves some powdered snow. We got a golem to... You've taken damage. Uh, we've got the uh, golem, so the, the magma creams will spawn here because of the biome we're in. Can you see the, the particles everywhere? We're actually almost directly above the other uh, farm that we have in the nether. Uh, I managed to trap myself three... Uh, Three frogs down below. We've got ourselves an iron golem to pull them over. And if I if I go all the way to the top of this uh, scaffold over here, unfortunately, we're not going to see a great deal. But oh, what 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 what? I can land on this. I can I can I I can't I can't land on it. There we go. I can land on this. I I feel like maybe I should have. Maybe I should have just climbed the scaffold anyway. <laughs> Here at the top of the scaffold, unfortunately, we cannot see what's going on with the farm. But if I break out my camera account, uh, flying around in spectator mode, we can see that there are a plethora, a plethora of uh, magma creams, magma cubes, magma slimes, whatever you want to call them, spawning up, racing towards that iron golem and being eaten by the frogs. That, did you know that's how you make frog lights? But that was the last of the bulk materials I need to be able to get on with this build. So I think, really, there's only one thing left to do. Go and build the rest of the build.
Best part of two months after I started this project, we are done. And I've got to say, it is looking spectacular from the rooftops. I am loving this here. Such a great addition to the, the, the skyline here, if I have a look. I mean, it might be a little strong, but once we get some more buildings around the back, I think that will be fine. Really complimenting this, uh, this colourful building next to it. They kind of just flow up from each other here let's try and fly down because of course i I've, i may have gone a little bit extra i've not i've not just done the outside you've seen the lobby before what with my favorite little piano here these are great you can barely hear them with my blocks turned off my game sounds are very low there we, there we go that's that's beautiful so we got, got a nice little tuned piano there that you can play with but i think i've shown you that before uh as, as well as splash the uh, the bar around the side but there's a, a couple of extra things that i've done here now i've got plans for most of these lower office level floors but if you look up you can see a little bit of coloration coming on through the top there welcome to cherries spelt with an i it's a cafe halfway up we've got ourselves like suspicious stew stall a, uh, a potion brewery i was supposed to put cakes there before i recorded this uh so then meats and vegetables over there somewhere where you come and pay i need to put a barrel underneath these iron trap doors so that you can um Deposit your money from your ender chest and put a price book there. Uh, but it's it's just a nice sort of it, it's the same height as the rooftops of all the other big buildings in the city. So it's a nice place to just come get some get some dinner with the fam or whatever it is you do up halfway up a skyscraper at a cafe. Yeah, it's nice. And then all the way at the very top, if I can jump in here, uh, we've got ourselves another build. Again, I, I feel like we need some decent. Uh, repeatable patterns to go through here. I've got an idea for an arcade. I've got an idea for an architectural studio. Uh, I've got a few good ideas for the ooh, for, for the internals. But of course, there, there's 40 floors. Well, I mean, there's 39, in, not including the lobby. Uh, and that's a lot of ideas to have. And up the top here, we've got ourselves a little swimming pool. This, this is nice. An infinity pool looking over the edge towards the city. Uh, we've got the most jank staircase I've ever put together. Let's, let's go down and have a look at it. Uh, I'm working on ideas for a little club or something down here, but I'm not entirely sure. But this staircase, I, I don't know. I don't like it. I, 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 this is my third attempt at it. I feel like it's very functional right now. It does the job, and I guess that's fine. But uh, I, yeah, I feel like we could do a little bit better rest of the pad up here absolutely amazing this pond is uh, this pond this pool sorry uh is very interesting to try and swim in uh because there's only like one layer of water this half slab down here don't, don't actually contain any water so you've got to kind of stay in between this this one layer here you can swim in it it's fairly relatively easy to do so but if you go too low you just end up walking and when you're walking that's it you're stuck here because it's a paddling pool it's a pool for partying in uh, as you can tell by the little bar at the back here uh, at the at the very rear we've got ourselves two expressways this is express elevator to hell going down oh this is great i love this it's just a, a big drop uh, of course there are several drops to be had around this uh this skyscraper and of course the express i should have put this in quotation marks because even the bubble column takes a long long time to go up here I, and you know what i i'm not gonna make you wait here of course with the sun setting on this build the only thing really left to discuss is the uh, the nice little back plate that we've got here let's get a little bit further away it's a nice detail i like it it's very much on the lower end of my screen so let's turn around uh it brings a, a little je ne sais quoi to the build that i feel like it really needed it was looking a little bit big and slabby without it so we, we threw this on here uh made sure that there was plenty of detail for people to look through uh, and of course, we got the the little swirly pattern going up the up the outside, which I think is great. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time, where we're going to be catching creepers if there's thunderstorms, or doing the internals, the interiors for this build, if not. But I will see you then, or when we're going to do that. Bye.